And we're back on the zoo with the lovely star of Netflix's humongous hit, One Day at a Time, Justina Machado. Bienvenida al show, mi amor. Gracias, gracias, gracias. All right, let's take a seat on the big old red couch at the count of three. One, two, three. Wow. wow. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you let All the right. zhuzh out of you. Great, liberating. Now, now on the set of One Day at a Time, you can do that with your castmates and that'll get them going. That will get us going, definitely. Uh, really, I've actually seen you speak at um, different Alip and National Hispanic Media Coalition things, uh, you know, where Norman Lear comes over. Yeah. And for people that don't know who Norman Lear is, he's probably the most influential TV producer of all time, right? Yes. Oh, uh, and the family, the original One Day at a Time. Yeah. What made him want to do One Day at a Time Latino version? Well, I think it was Brent Miller, our, our other executive producer, who actually wanted to remake something of his and thought, wow, why don't we do One Day at a Time with a Latino family? So it was Brent's idea. Mm. And um, then they started looking for writers, and that's when they found Gloria Calderon Kelly. Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's where they found her, and, uh, and then that's where they started building their, their crew. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. so so it wasn't necessarily his idea, right. but you know, but Brent's him getting idea. behind it is, yeah. is a big deal. Huge yeah. that we wouldn't have been on Netflix without him. And Gloria has been amazing yes. with the writing. Yes. I mean, everything she does, she's just like so talented and. I don't know. I was telling you before before the show. I just feel so connected to one day at a time, yeah. even though you know every household Latino family is different. Yes. It's just there's things that crack me up, and then there's things that got me crying. <laughs> so yeah, how is it for you? For oh my God, for me it's great. It's, is it it's a, a roller coaster of emotions? Yeah, in there? but it's awesome because that's my daily life. Wow. <laughs> I'm a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. So I mean, you're it's like, you know it. <laughs> You know, you know a lot of Puerto Ricans? Uh, oh, yeah. Cuban. We're, we're practically related. <laughs> exactly. We are related, right? No, I think it's great. Are you kidding me? It's so wonderful to have such a character that's layered, that's flawed, that's Latina, that it's not just somebody that's in a box that right. plays the same thing over and over again. So it's, I, no, I have no complaints. I just wanted to keep, going, to keep on going. You know you're what I mean? You're so natural, too. Thank yeah, you. You're amazing. Yeah. I love the range that you show on the show. Yeah. Um, and, well, on the show, you know, your character is a veteran. Yes. And she suffers from PTSD. Mm -hmm. And in real life, you talk about a little bit about depression, and your character also has to deal with that. Is it kind of difficult for you to go there with that character? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. It's not. I love it. You, I, I am truly an actress. You okay. have no idea. Like I love that stuff. So nothing scares me. Okay. Nothing makes me go. Oh, I can't do this. Everything excites me. Nice. So I'm excited when I get to do things like that. I'm not, and especially that we as Latinos don't get to do things like that. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? We're always I the best friend, right? Yeah. Exactly. We're the best friend or somebody who works at the store or, you yeah. know, like. <laughs> She's a talk show full of yeah, best yeah. friends. Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So no, I welcome the opportunity to, to play all of that. None of it scares me. That's Everything awesome. excites me. That's so good too, what it's doing for the Latin media landscape too, yeah. just in general. It's like shows like One Day at a Time are going to push us forward to a place that we haven't Ben. That's right. And for people be, uh, behind the scenes as well, Latinos behind the scenes in front of the camera. Yeah. What are some of the things that you had to study going into the show? Now, the family is, it's based here in LA, mm -hmm. but they are Cuban. That's right. Yeah. So, did you guys have to do a little bit of research? I know you're, I mean, being Puerto Rican is very close in culture, but did the, other actors, yeah, did, the other, did the other actors and actresses have to, you know, figure out what are the nuances of Cuban American culture? I think having Gloria Calderon Kellett showed us the nuances. Right. I mean, I myself, I, my boyfriend is Cuban. I'm I'm always in Miami. Right. You know what I mean? Really. <laughs> so, okay. So that <laughs> Like literally, or just that because, you know, I am always you live in vicariously. Miami. Like, we were always, no, no, literally. Okay. Like, you know, you know Cubans. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like Puerto Ricans, like Latinos, very, you know, family oriented. Right. So, you know, we were just there for Christmas. I was, I'm there all the time. So, that kind of prepared me, you know, like being around my, my boyfriend and his, uh, his whole family. But I think having Gloria there and, uh, and having the specificity right. that mm -hmm. she that she puts in is what helps us. I mean, listen, I didn't know anything mm. about Pedro Pan. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, and that is um, that was an amazing story. I didn't either. Talking, right? I didn't but know anything I about Shelley. it. Oh yeah, and cool. I didn't know anything about. Well, no, I did know about the Che because you know. Check it out. But let me just make sure. Pedro Pan. It was it was a yes. Peter Pan. It was when um, when the Cuban Revolution happened. A lot of parents that couldn't leave Cuba sent their kids on planes to live with foster parents here in the United States. Mm -hmm. A lot of those kids stayed here. Mm -hmm. um, so it was you know they, they the separation of families. A lot of people don't know that story. Right. They I, don't. I know a lot of people. Not my family, but I have friends of family that they came here at eight, nine years old by themselves. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. my God, isn't that heartbreaking? Yeah. That is and, crazy. And so cool. all of that, the Che Guevara t-shirt thing, I love yeah. that episode yeah. because so many people wear that t-shirt, you mm. know, and like yeah. Che, and then, you know, Cubans are like, what right. the hell are you wearing? Well, we talked about it here, so. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. El Papa, El Papa, Francisco. Papa, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Papa. always on the fridge and She stuff. loves him. Oh my God, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Lisa is amazing. That. Yeah, she's the best. Has she been coming like your mentor? Have you have you tried to, to seek out that what that thing that that talk about longevity? I mean, she's really made a life, not just a career, a life was, out of acting. And she uh, looks awesome. Girl, yeah, she, you she looks she amazing. has a what, a six pack or something before? You know it. I'm surprised she hasn't shown it to you. Really? Yes. Oh, oh my god, if you guys got her on this show, you'd have a blast. Oh, I'll we tell you would that. love to have awesome. her over for sure. No, awesome. she's great. I mean, you know, she's a legend, right? Yeah. I mean, what's amazing about her is she a mentor? Absolutely. To, to every single one of us. Yeah. And that's the thing is we have such a loving, warm set. It's fantastic. Very so nice. you've been in L.A. now for 20 years, more or less. A little 20, bit longer, yeah. Yeah, 20 and a little bit. So as a Latina and as a woman, especially, mm -hmm. what's like the main difference that you notice from back then, 20 years? Because you have a very long career. And ever since you got here, you started working mm -hmm. right off the bat, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, but what is what is the change, the evolution of the industry for us as Latinos and as women that you've been able to experience? The evolution is that people are more supportive. Okay. Women are more supportive of we each are. other. Yes, yeah. we are. And um, it's uh, that's a big thing. Also, there are more opportunities. <laughs> I say that like that because it, there needs to be more. Yeah. Do you know okay. what I mean? Because people always want to ask you, has it changed? Mm, yes, it has. But like this, right. very, very. But then look at what's happening now. Look at all the female leads, all the Latina female leads. Yeah. Jaina Lee Ortiz on Station 19. Yeah. Uh, uh, Melanie Me Melody Diaz on um, The New Charmed. Yeah. Uh, I can go on and on. Ana Villanueva mm. on History of Them, the new. Yes. So it's like it is changing. Right. So that's amazing to yeah. see all these female Latina leads. Well, so Jane that's a good Jane, oh my God, that's yeah. my girl. Well, you know what? I mean, you know, Jane the Virgin was 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 a show that maybe helped one day at a time out yeah. a few years ago, and that it can succeed. Yeah. It's not just going to be something that you throw out there so that you know we, we play the card. It's something that can succeed, mm -hmm. and we celebrate the success of one day at a time. We yes. want you to come back and come back with Rita, okay? Oh, okay, <laughs> look at that. Bring 